Hi Duncan, welcome to the National Critics' Choice and here at the World Gourmet Summit. Uh, please tell us more about the history uh, of our Man of War. Sure. Well, it's, a, it's a fantastic opportunity to, to, that you've given me to, to talk about our wine. Uh, Man of War is a 100% family owned um, property on Waiheke Island, which is uh, upper North Island of New Zealand. Um, we have uh, the station is 4,500 acres of sheep and cattle farm. And within that, we have 174 acres of vineyard planted. Now, uh, within that 174 acres, we have 74 different vineyards. So we have a vast array of small vineyard sites. Um, the Syrah comes from approximately seven different vineyards, um, and it's just a very uh, special and unique property. Um, very coastal. Uh, a lot of volcanic activity in the soil, um, very unique for New Zealand. And how did that island came about? I, mean, I heard there's something interesting behind it. Was it uh, Captain Cook or uh, something? Sure. In um, 1976, uh, James Cook, who discovered New Zealand and much of the New World, um, sailed into this beautiful harbour um, and saw these magnificent um, native trees called the Kauri tree. And he thought to himself that they would be great uh, timber for his uh, masts on his mar man of war battleships. And so hence he uh, bequeathed the name man of war to the bay and began to harvest the trees. Now, come back to your, the winery itself. Yeah. How did the winery get its name man of war? Was it based on history? It's, ma it's named after a geographical, it's named after the bay, man of war bay, which is... Um, a very beautiful uh, 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 place, beautiful bay, where we have our tasting room set up. Um, the winery is not far from it, um, so Manawar Bay, it's a very nice place to come and visit. Oh, now, come back to the wine. Sure. Tell us more about the, the Syrah, uh, the 2009 vintage. You know, sure. uh, what was going on? It, it, it seems to be so good. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so 2009 was a very good vintage for, uh, for Syrah and uh, it's, a, it's what I call a, an, an elegant vintage, um, not, too, not too hot, not too cold, so we have a real finesse on the palate structure, um, but it's classic man of war in terms of um, quite savoury, um, uh, almost uh, slightly um, meaty on the nose, but beautiful fruit as well, um, so it's a very distinctive um, Syrah, and uh, I believe it, its uh, uniqueness comes from the vineyards being so close to the sea, and the coastal influence is, um, really makes the wine fresh, but concentrated, complex, but fruitful all at the same time. And how long has it been uh, in the barrel for? Um, we leave our Syrah approximately for 15 months in barrel, and we, we do a very long, slow fermentation uh, in vat and then we press off uh, every single parcel of fruit separately, um, 15 months in barrel and then a further 3 to 4 months in tank prior to bottling. Is there any more stock for 2008 vintage and what's the future for 2010? I do believe there is a very small amount of the 2008, which um, was the vintage that put Man of War on the map for Syrah, really exciting wine. Um, and then 2010, I'll be um, bottling um, in the new year when I get back to work, uh, maybe in the start of January, and that's a very exciting